Hello, friends. Hello. Hello. I'm here with Brayden. Mm -hmm. And we are doing some planning today. So let me get the camera situated better. There we go. Now you can see us both. It's a little hard to get that wide of a view on camera with an eye fin. <laughs> Um, Brittany, what are you working on today? What planner are you working in? Um, I'm just working in my night owl, owl paper, inspired. Um, I'm just doing some free draw and also some December cousin inside here. So I'm going to be decorating it up and I'm also going to be using some pins to so just make some illustrations as well. Okay, so just fun Christmas stuff. Yep. Okay, mm, fun Christmas planning, stuff. Yep. Mine is going to be... Working in my work planner, who remembers this? Plum paper. The Hobonichi uh, Han has not been working as well for me at this time because it's super busy and I've noticed that I've been flipping the days back and forth when I need to carry over tasks. So I was already planning on going back to this in January for work, but I'm gonna set up August as December. Um, this is a plum paper vertical priorities. So I'm gonna be working on setting up a weekly spread for next week and instead of Saturday and Sunday I use this as a big sidebar so this works really well for work um, and this is the completely neutral version that they just came out with so um, okay so yes well on the, on Saturday I posted our vlog this is Sunday we got too tired on Saturday but mm -hmm. it's Sunday or you come more in the middle right now come on come on get comfy with me okay <laughs> Brayden has to go to work later so I think he's like nah um, I would be that way too if I had to work on Sunday. I was that way when I worked in the restaurant business and I was meh when I had to go. Um, but let me show you. I have this cover on now. This is Erin Condren cover. This is A5 size and I'm going to use my Sweet Kawaii Factory Reset sub kit. Um, and I was thinking of trying to put this sticker on top of like one of these Erin mm, Condren cute. things. Yeah. Let's try. I brought out one that like I don't use as much. This one. Um. Okay. Let's talk about what we bought at the mall yesterday, Brayden. Oh. Um. We didn't buy that much. We went knowing that we're window shopping, but we bought a few things. Mhm. Mm um. So she bought me uh some jewelry. It's a necklace with some gems that go like attached like onto the necklace. Um. And some other things too. I think I forgot. I got a hat and some slippers mm -hmm. and some earrings. We found this really cool store, our favorite store. You can go back if you didn't watch the vlog, but it was called Altered State. I had never heard of it before, neither had Brayden, so maybe they just don't have it in a lot of the Houston malls, but they had it there. We really love that store. We spent a lot of time in there. Mm -hmm. They had a water fountain in the middle of the store. They had uh -huh. very nice, um, kind of like retro and... Christian inspired clothing and jewelry. It was very nice in there. Mm -hmm. It was super fun. We really loved that store. She also did donate a lot yesterday and she also Aww. gave to the homeless yesterday, even though he, I don't know if he was grateful for it, but <laughs> hey, he still got it. So. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. So we went to Starbucks, obviously. Okay, I didn't, I shouldn't have cut this down as much as I did, but hey, it turned out decent, right? It still looks good. Mm -hmm. um, it has some air bubbles, which I'm gonna get out now. Um, so we went to Starbucks. And I usually don't really eat much before like two or three o'clock. I just don't really get hungry, but I just happened to get a grilled cheese because I was like, oh, I'm a little hungry. Maybe I'll get a grilled cheese. So, because it was already like around 1230. Um, and so then we went out and we went to the first red light and there was a homeless guy with a sign and I didn't have any cash. So I gave him my grilled cheese, <laughs> but I had already like just peeled the one crust off of the grilled cheese and put it in the bag. Like I didn't eat it yet though, but I just didn't want to eat that piece of crust. So I had pulled it off. And I told him, I told the homeless guy, I'm like, I'm so sorry. I pulled off one crust, but I didn't eat it. I swear, here, have a hot meal. <laughs> and he looked at me like I was crazy. So that was cool. <laughs> but, oh, well, I told Brayden, you should still give to people when you can. If they if they don't appreciate it, then that's their karma. Yeah. Um, there we go. I'm poking holes. This is my easiest way to get rid of air bubbles. Just so you all know, for a tip, don't struggle with, like, pulling it up more or anything. Just get a, something very, very sharp and poke the tiniest hole in the world. You won't see it. See? You don't see any holes, do you? Perfect. There's a little air bubble there. I really don't let the air bubbles bother me much either. That's another thing. Just Critters have to breathe too, guys. Okay. 
on it. Mm. There we go. All the bubbles are out. Hey, that's fun. Now I can have that on my blender. Let's do the back one. Won't cut this one. I don't know why I thought I needed to cut that one, but um, yeah, so it took us about an hour to get to the mall and then we did our window shopping and our shopping. I felt a little weird yesterday though. Yeah, she had so. problems with her um, smelling for some reason. Like she had some weird yeah. smelling with the candles and the food. I couldn't smell anything very good and like nothing tasted good to me. Yeah. Except the cookie. The cookie was delicious. Uh, and even I went to dinner and dinner <laughs> didn't taste right to me. I think it's something with my sinuses. I'm not sure. I felt a little off yesterday though. Um, and that's okay. And then after the mall, we were pretty close to the little craft place and they were still open. So I was like, ooh, let's go to the little craft place. Oh my gosh, I'm really messing this up on the back. Um, so we went to Little Craft Place and Paula was there. She's one of my favorites that works there and does some of their classes. Some of y'all probably know her. Oh, I put this on. Oh yeah, they did a, um, so wrong. Well, they had a class yesterday. We didn't yeah, get to it, but yeah. she showed us the results. All of mm -hmm. random. So it was like a Christmas collage, right? Something. It was like a little, um, Christmas fold out book. Yeah. So you could put like pictures and stuff and it had like multiple layers and then there were things like underneath and it was just really nicely decorated. So I can see why it took so long to do, but it was yeah. really cool. She said it was like a four hour class and it was a book and it just kept folding out, 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 out. It was really cool. Mm -hmm. Um, I've never gone to one of the little craft place classes, but I've considered going because the one time they were going to have Heather Kell come and do a hand lettering class. Mm -hmm. I was going to sign up for it, but then that one got canceled. Oh, this is why I had cut it before, but I'll just do it not with my paper trimmer. I'll just do it with my little knife so that I don't jack this up. Um, she ended up having to cancel, and so I didn't go to that class. I've gone to a couple events there that were free, and then I've gone to like some paid planner group events there, but like they weren't put on by Little Craft Place itself. It was just put on in that space. Mm -hmm. And that's where I met Bonita last year. Mm, that's so sweet. At a planner meetup. Oh yeah, guys, Um, they had they had their, um, Little Craft Place has their own planners now. We saw yesterday they oh, had yeah. their own brands. Mm -hmm. They have so. their own bullet journals that are very similar to Archer and Olive, and mm -hmm. we got to take a look at those. Oh, and all throughout the mall, this is kind of off topic, but all throughout the mall, there were a lot of planners, like, in each store we went to. Like, there <laughs> were, like, planners and journals everywhere. Yep, because I was like, oh, look, right in normal people buy their planners right now, so there's yeah. lots of planners. And we found that one planner store. Those planners are actually decent yeah, for, like, nice. store quality. Mm -hmm. Like, if I didn't know a lot about planners, I would have been tempted to buy one. They had weekly, daily, and the themes that they had were so cute. They had like these really cute um, modern Harry Potter themes. Y'all can go back and look at those vlog if you want to see, but yeah. it was super cute. We liked that store. They had a lot of Simpsons stuff there for some reason <laughs> as well. Yeah, <laughs> but it was really cool. And yeah, the Harry Potter stuff is nice too. Yeah, Brayden used to love Harry Potter, but now he's in his Hello Kitty era. So. Again. <laughs> and SpongeBob. He, yeah, SpongeBob. Yeah, he yeah. first said he was over Hello Kitty. Now he's back to loving Hello Kitty. Yeah. And he loves vintage SpongeBob, okay? Not this new age SpongeBob. No, not this new age SpongeBob. She's she's serious. I do not like the new age. I'm being serious. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means, but I know that's what he's told new me. New age SpongeBob is, is not. Oh, the other store that we loved a lot was Hallmark store. We spent a lot of time oh, in there. Oh, yes. And Hallmark. that's where I got my slippers and they were oh, such a good deal. They were yes. $15. Oh my gosh. They had they had um these like stuffed animals and they were like zippers. Like I I, brought, I was wearing my outfit with a goose that had a zipper in it. And there were like multiple animals, animals that had zippers we could put like stuff into it. It's like a little purse. Yeah. You'll see on that pic, his goose purse, they had ones that were like um, weenie dogs. Mm -hmm. That was super cute. And then we also saw a lot of Harry Potter stuff in that store. We also saw a lot of Disney bags. Yes. Kind of like the ones they have at Hot Topic. We always go to Hot Topic, but that was one store that wasn't as good as the one that's by us. Yeah. It was like really cramped and small. The Hot Topics by us are like bigger and better, so... Um, yeah, the hot topic was really small though. It felt so cramped and dirty. I, I was like, I gotta get out of here. I was feeling hot. <laughs> yeah, we, okay. we literally got we literally like, got trapped. Like there were people like on one other side and the other like we couldn't get out. We couldn't even turn around. <laughs> I was like, we gotta get out of here, Braden. We got a hot topic anytime. We're old. Um, and then we enjoyed walking around Dillard's and looking at all the fancy, um, like party clothes. I guess you would say. Um, oh, I need some more letters, guys. I have put. I have put my name in so many planners that I ran out of L's and E's because I have two of each of those in my name. And so I need to order some more letters. And I'm going to ask Tasia if it's possible to get black letters. There are black uh, months. So I was wondering if we could get black Ooh, days of the week and letters. Okay, anyway, I'm going to ask. I'm not going to obligate her because she's super busy, but I'm going to put forth my request. Um, 
Okay, anyway, so later on, if I want to use this cover, it looks like it's ready. There is one huge air bubble <laughs> by the star that I need to get out. Um, okay, and so then after the mall, we went to a little craft place. We saw Paula. Um, I bought a five-year journal, which um, I believe my video went up on Sunday. If you want to see that one about what I'm doing with it. Bought a five-year Hobonichi journal, and then um, Brayden just looked around because, like I said, we were balling <laughs> on a budget. Yeah, I, I always, <laughs> I always, I, I just go in there with like a, like the most open mind ever. Like I'm never like looking for anything specific. I just, yeah. I just love the store. He likes to look. Sometimes you know, he gets washies or like a pen or a keychain or something. Yeah, that's like with any store. Like I just go in there to just see what I like. Yeah, just... we just like to window shop. Some people don't, but that's like one of our favorite things to do. I think a lot of people do, especially if there's like rich, rich stores like Gucci or like Versace. <laughs> oh yeah, I was dreaming about my Louis Vuitton bag yesterday. Yeah. Saw it. It's small. It's a small, never full. She told me she had a Versace perfume. I was like, what? I do. I'm like, oh my gosh. You can borrow sometime. Because <laughs> I've had that bottle for over 10 years and it's not even halfway gone, so... Because I only wear perfume if I go like out, out, which isn't often. So yeah, you can imagine perfume mm -hmm. lasts a long time. I used to have Scentbird too. I want to get that back because you can get really nice brands, just the little samples, and they come to your house every month. I canceled the subscription, but I want to get it back probably in um, February. Okay, when next? I am going to decorate my work week for next week. Forget about the covers. I just love this factory reset kit. Look, Brynn, mm -hmm. speaking of the retro smileys, Oh, that's, yeah. I love them Cute. so much. Oh my gosh. My hat that I got, my new hat has these smileys on it. And mm -hmm. so do the slippers. Yeah, the slippers were only $16. They, they were really were, cute. They were a good deal. Yeah. Um, the hat was expensive, but it's a corduroy hat. And it was really good quality. And it's just like neutral. Like a cream color with a cream colored black cream and black smiley. So I figure after like Christmas, after I get done wearing my Christmas hats, I can wear that for the winter time because um, there's going to be a lot of hats going on because I'm growing <laughs> my pixie and my hair is going to be in the most awkward stage for about six months. Hey, but it'll be worth it until you get tired of it. Well, she says she wants to change it up because, yeah. yeah. I want to have my hair at least shoulder length for a few years, um, chin to shoulder length where I can at least put it halfway up. Because, yeah, I'm just um, tired of the pixie cut. I've had it for, if April comes, that would be four years that I've had it. So that's plenty of time for my pixie cut era. era. I'm going to go back. <laughs> and I'm, era. I'm stealing Taylor Swift lingo. Even though I'm not a Swifty, guys. I'm not a hater. But I'm also not a Swifty. So there's that. Also, like, records and vinyls are coming back. Vinyl? Do y'all call them vinyls? Or the they're called vinyls or records. Okay, they're called both. They're interchangeable because they're the same thing. <laughs> and people don't care about, like, the difference between the words. Okay, one word's not cooler than the other? No. Okay. At least to me, because I don't really I don't really know much about vinyls, so I don't really have much to say about that. <laughs> well, he has a few. Last year, he got a record player and several records for Christmas. That was his big thing. This year, he's focusing on stuff for his car. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I got. I have some Adele vinyls I got for my birthday, mm -hmm. but I don't use them very much. No, he likes uh, the ones he listens to more, Taylor Swift, Pink. Um, I also really like Casey Musgraves' yeah, newer album. Yeah, I love Casey Musgraves' I, Yeah, too. I love her newer album. It's really good. Justify Rose. That song's That's one of the there. song, yeah. Mm -hmm. I forgot what the album's It's the red. Oh, Starcross. Ever? It's called Starcross. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. That's a <laughs> good... Uh, I love Casey Musgraves. I yeah. love her uh, Golden Hour record. So I will say, even though us Golden Casey Hour Musgrave fans song. don't have a name like a Swifty. It's because she's not as popular, but she really should be. Right? So... Casey Musgraves is one of my faves. As far as we were talking about yesterday, 2000, 2023, our most listened to music, because I don't listen to Spotify. I don't know if Braden does. I do. do. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. I, I do Pandora. Um, but my most listened to was definitely Hamilton soundtrack. And um, after that, probably, if I had to pick like a pop album, probably Harry Styles. I listened to his a lot. And Elton John new album, that was my jam <laughs> this year. Like with all the little fun remakes that he did. Yeah, him and uh, Dolly Parton are like doing like the same kind of thing. They're just smart. Talking about. Mm -hmm. They're smart. They're creating tons of wealth for themselves by doing these collab records. Very, very smart. Um, and she's still rocking it. Dolly Parton. <laughs> Let's see. 
Um, so yeah, then after a little craft place, my hubby texted and said, do y'all want to have Tex-Mex? So even though we ate lunch like at three. Oh yeah, I forgot we ate lunch. And then we ate those huge cookies. <laughs> they were huge cookies from Great American Cookie. And then they had icing and then another cookie and we ate it all. And then. Well, I didn't eat it all. I, I ate I, I kind of got sick of mine. I was like, oh my gosh. I ate mine all. <laughs> and then we went to meet John and Emma for Tex-Mex. They had been at the park. Mm -hmm. Um, apparently Emma made daddy chase her around for four hours, so they were very tired because <laughs> she's shy, so she doesn't really play with the other kids, she just wants to play with John, what? so that's okay, it's okay, so yeah, we met them up for Tex-Mex, and then, so by that time, you know, it was dark, and I was tired, so I, I just came home and got in bed, so we didn't do our planning yesterday, so we're doing it today. We don't do this together every week. I would say like every two weeks. Yeah, I think we should do it more. Yeah, whenever Brayden wants to, we do. Because I don't want you to feel like you're obligated to like get on camera. I kind of want to start you my own I mean? YouTube channel with well, like planning. <laughs> you should do that. I think I should do that. I, I think, think it sounds you should. Fun. I think it sounds fun. I can help you and show you how to do it. Okay. Okay, I'll let you guys know if he ends up doing that. <laughs> he probably won't post as often as I do because he has school. Yep, I have other things to do. <laughs> but it'll be like a hobby. Let's put, because hmm. maybe you could get more consistent with your Instagram first, because whoever follows you there will follow your YouTube. Mm -hmm. Maybe make it a goal for like later in 2024. Yeah. Okay. Um, in this place over here, I'm going to put, let me see how tall this little guy is. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, I'm gonna put that where I can write something important for the week. And then I'm put a pink smiley right there. And then I'm gonna put some more deco over here. Oh yeah, and we're getting the, the Poe um, vanilla scented air fresheners and I'm really excited to get <laughs> in my car. <laughs> mm -hmm. He's excited to put that in his car. And we were talking about if we had a dream car because we saw this really sweet blue Corvette when we went to Tex-Mex yesterday. Mm -hmm. This gentleman sweet. had a sweet Corvette, which is my hubby's dream car. So then me and Brayden were talking about what our dream car would be. And I said mine would be a lavender Jeep and I would make it like Poe themed inside. <laughs> right guys? Oh my gosh, that would be, so, be cute. so cute. And I would ask Tasia if I could make like a Poe wheel cover. And I would have like Poe floor mats. Because I would be oh rich gosh. and I could pay Tasia for all this stuff. Right. She would be like, great idea. Right, Tasia? Okay. Brayden, what, what were you saying yours would be? It would probably be a Hello Kitty car. Um, lots, of, lots of Hello Kitty decals. Or it would be a sweet kawaii design. Um, I don't know which critter I would choose. Which is your favorite? I think your favorite is Poe as well. Um, I like Poe, but I also like um, the, the bunny. The, Oh, Bo. Bo. Lego. Bo. I actually, my favorite is Connie, but I think for a car, Poe is where it's at. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. That or Poe. I get the hype surrounding Poe. I get the hype. Well, that's good to know that Bo Bunny is your favorite, though. Um, so, as I've been telling y'all, Brayden is starting Winter Guard, so that's something that's taking up a lot of his time. So maybe in the summer would be a good time to start your YouTube, Brayden. Mm, yeah. That's usually when you're looking for like hobbies and you can get, you can learn everything and you can get everything like, like you have to have a lot of things like graphics and, um, I don't know. Yeah, but I'm good at that. Yeah. yeah. He really is. So that'd be cool. I would, I would love to see what he could do with that. You were dashboard, oh, you're two days, you're doing a weekly. Oh yeah, I'm oh. doing a weekly, but I'm doing a day and like a day spread each day. Mm -hmm. It looks super cute. Thank you. He's using the Cousin uh, Monthly December. Yeah, yes. and I'm also using some Christmas tree farm deco. It's almost gone. Oh, uh, large. Because <laughs> <laughs> we did go to the farm recently, and Brayden was brave and got on the Ferris wheel, even though he has fear of heights, so I was proud of that. Yeah, even though I kind of want to go skydiving, which doesn't make sense because I'm scared of heights, but I can always do that. <laughs> well, sometimes that can help you conquer your fears. Okay. Yep, this planner is where it's at. I... I need to be able to see all my meetings and all my things at once for work. So this is going to be better for me. And then I do have interspersed at the end of each month, um, a couple grid pages, which, whoa, what is going on? 
There we go. And then my coil got kind of wonky whenever I redid it. I need to get my um, weather moon and fix it. Anyway, um, at the end of each month, I have two notes pages, actually three, that I can use for meeting notes. So that's plenty. Um, because I was getting so hyped about I need a place for meeting notes, but then I enter them in my computer right after the meeting. So why am I getting so weird about that? Okay. So yeah, I still think for me, for what's out there in the market, this is the best work planner. If you need something that's Monday through Friday, a place for a sidebar, a place for your habits at work, and room for notes each day, or you can add additional to-dos there. And then of course, plum paper, you can uh, customize everything. So I put meetings and to-do for like my sections, but you can do something different if you want, and then you can make it lined, not lined. I would not be, I liked the look of it without the lines, but I wouldn't be able to use this as a work planner without lines, that would drive me crazy. Um, so yeah. Um, Football season's already over. Man, we only went to one game this year. Mm. That's unusual for us. Yep. Mm, that's okay. But I'd go to a lot of the Winter Guard stuff. Yep, we got some good props this year. Um, oh, nice. So that's good. <laughs> I'm doing that slow song. I know that yeah. song. I forgot. What is it again? It's called um, Burning House. Oh, mm hmm. Cam, yeah. right? Yep, that can yep, yep. I like it, even though it's slow. Yeah. Because they usually do faster songs. But the judges for Winter Guard, I think they like slower songs, so. Yeah. And plus it's kind of like it's it's kind of like a love song. They like they love love and slow songs. So that's kind of and they're also um it's so it's a relationship between a girl and a boy and they um they burn and well the husband burns in a fire, and they, they both burn in the fire eventually. So it's kind of like a love song. <laughs> <laughs> a tragedy. Yeah, tragedy. A bittersweet tragedy, yeah. But it can be symbolic, too. It doesn't have to be an actual burning house. Mm, yeah. My opinion. Uh, Brain's also been studying a lot for SATs because he, I think I've... If y'all follow my social media, you might know, but he's at the top of his class. He's in the top 3%, so we're going to start working in the summer on, like, some, um, looking to see where he might get some merit scholarships for college, and then he's been studying a lot for SAT so that he can get a great score. Although, don't worry about it too much, Raiden. You can take it over. It's not like... Well, yeah, I guess to get in senior year, too, but... Mm -hmm. So... This is turning out so cute, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm it is. And this will make me happy to look at this week at work. Work is a little stressful right now. I can't wait until December 20th because I have a week off of work. Mm. A full week. And it'll be so nice. Even though we have a bid that's due on... January 5th, I'll probably be working on that bid a little bit, but I won't be, like, attending meetings or, you know, I'll have quiet work time, so I won't have to work that much. Um, so that'll be really nice. There we go. I am just about done. Brayden really likes that. Um, Night Owl Journal because he likes to make his own spreads a lot. Mm -hmm. So I think it's perfect for him. And I gave him my pink Aura Estelle cover because I'm very sweet. Yes, I like <laughs> And I kept the white one. <laughs> okay. Sorry if y'all hear football in the background, my hubby just has the game on. I don't really care about football, but I do fantasy football with my work because <laughs> they needed like enough people. And um, 
I don't know, beginner's luck or what, but I'm starting to whoop up. So I'm like, hey, you're doing good. <laughs> Just excited. Okay. Oh, this is fun. Now I'm going to do my work pen. Which, the pen that I use for work is my Pilot High Tech C, this one, because it's just so easy to just, like, write, make it look nice and neat, and, like, slap stuff down really fast without anything smudging. I really need to fix this. This is really bugging. I jacked up the coil when I, I initially, um, uncoiled this and had some of the pages punched and in my A five cover but now I want it back on the coil and the coil is looking very sus so, um, sorry for the susness uh, <laughs> I don't really know how to fix it but I'm just like trying to do it I guess that's a little better I, I used to be better at Franken planning but now that I use book bound planners I just don't oh yeah she always used to Franken plan with her happy planner but... mm -hmm, and Erin Condren yeah okay that's a little better at least it's turning better so let me put the dates on. Tomorrow is December 4th. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, and of course, I've already used those numbers here. Great. I have more. I have more guys. Sorry. There we go. I always save these. You think that you don't need them later. Brayden also has four tests at school this coming week, so that's great. Mm -hmm. You couldn't pay me to go back to school. I I liked high school, but I thought college, like, because of the movies, I thought college was going to be, like, my college experience going to be the best times of my life, but it really wasn't. I did not like college very much. I just had to force myself to finish. But I did. Okay. You drawing the gingerbread man? Mm -hmm. Cute. I, I I broke apart the Mary Bright Mary and Bright and I put Mary in the first page and then Bright on the third. Oh, yeah. cute. Mm -hmm. Love it. Okay, I I'm gonna put my habits that I need to do for the work week. So the things I have to do every day are look at RFP evaluations. Um, I do some downloads, so that is some training for um, our new team member. I've been helping with that. And then I'm realizing, I don't know if I like this pen that much. I'll choose the Zebra Sarasa Clip 05 on this paper. I love it on Hobonichi paper. It's my favorite. But on this paper, it feels a little weird. Oh yeah, I think this is the one I like. Um, let's see, RFP downloads, and then I have to check any... Um, sales requests and any sister company team requests. So I put that here so that I make sure if I don't see them come through on my email, sometimes they go in weird folders. And so I make sure up here with my habits that I'm checking those every day. Um, my meetings on Monday, we have a huddle. Tuesday, we have a team call. Wednesday, I have my one-on-one. -on -one. I have more than these. These are just the ones that are on the top of my head that I don't need my phone for, which is filming us right now. Um, Thursdays, we usually have strategy, but we're not going to have that until after the holiday. So, oh, I also have a meeting on Wednesday. My hubby's about to bust in here, so if you hear some noises. And then Friday, we have an education meeting. Okay. And then I need a dot marker yellow. Over here on this week, I'm going to make some dots. On the 5th, um, I have something to turn in. So. I think I'm going to keep this section up here, the weekly section, for things that are due to customers because that's the number one most important thing that I don't miss. So on Monday I have to turn in something. And then 
That's a very important meeting on one story. Then, I don't have anything else technically due this week, but one of our bids is shipping on the 8th, so on the 7th I need to make sure everything's completed. I think we're already at 80%, but I have some follow-ups that are a pain in my butt. everything runs pretty smooth at work. This is probably one of the only stressful times I've had in like the past year of working there. So I'm still thankful for that. Let's make another check box here. But it's just much easier, I've noticed, even if I'm busy, to just like be able to see everything in weekly view. Because I can move some things around sometimes to meet the deadlines, but if it's on a daily view, it's harder for me to, you know, I'm flipping pages, marking stuff out. That's not as easy. Okay. I think this is looking super cute though. Super cute, super functional. I don't know, this coil is bugging. I'm going to tell y'all right now, I'm going to take it off the coil. <laughs> the I put coil. it on my ring. Mm. I always think I love coil, I love to change the covers, but I, in reality, I just need it to be on the rings and be able to take it out. Like, period. I gotta go in the garage and find what I've done, but... Well, Brayden's finishing. Brayden can come in the middle and finish. Mm, yeah. I will be taking this off the coils. What else should we talk about, Brayden? Um, oh, I want to make crochet animals, but I don't really want to, like, <laughs> learn how to. <laughs> <laughs> he just wants the, the crochet animal uh, skills to appear in his brain. Mm -hmm. He's got to learn how to crochet. Yeah. I'm not a good one to teach him. My mom and grandma were crochet masters, like, literally, especially my grandma. They're the ones that could just, like, do it without looking. Um... I was never interested to learn that from them whenever they were willing to teach me. And then when my daughter, when I was pregnant with her, I wanted to make her a baby blanket just so she would have something special for me. And I could sew, but I wasn't great with quilts. And some people already made her some quilts, so I was like, I'll, I'll crochet her a baby blanket. And it took me like the whole time I was pregnant to make this small thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The purple one with your name on it? I like that one. Oh. Mm, she likes it. It was worth it. Um, but anyway, Brayden wants to make little kawaii crocheting animals, which would be so fun. I think that'd be cute. Brayden, there's also a thing you could look up about, like, felt. You get this needle thing and you make these little puffy balls. Have you seen that? Oh, You've seen um, that on probably... TikTok or something. I forget what it, that's called. But that was probably like be faster to animals. learn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or they, or they, like, make... What I really admire is like they do um like there's these videos like the frog I think it's like some frog oh, videos yes. where they have like felt animals Indiana Rose yeah Crawford. yeah yeah and there's but there's tons of accounts mm -hmm. yeah so they make the but, little felt frogs and they make the little animations of yeah, them yeah they they do like stop motion I really admire it because it's like really because I feel like I would like to do that because it's not as hard as crocheting but it's like more fun I feel well, like look to up how to make them yeah I think it sounds cool you just have to like hand sew which I could show you yeah I could I could show you that. I used to sew on a sewing machine. You know, uh, scrunchies are back. Well, those are very 90s. And I learned how to sew because I wanted to make a bunch of scrunchies from my grandma's fabric because <laughs> she would make me clothes. I oh. matching scrunchies. It's so probably when I was like about 12, she taught me how to sew. Um, but all I could make was scrunchies, which isn't, you know, a <laughs> lot of work. It's just Not like really. sewing two lines yeah. and then yeah. hand sewing the ends together and the elastic together. But, and then I had um, a sewing machine that I used to just like do little things, like little alterations, like making Brayden's pants into shorts or something when he was a little boy. <laughs> oh. um, or I would just make little things like little burp cloths or, I made a quilt one time, it was terrible, but I did make it. Um, but I was never great with sewing. Yeah. So when my sewing machine broke, I just said, screw it. <laughs> Goodbye coil, I always think I'll love you, but I don't love you no more. I'm gonna get, I'll be right back guys. I have to go in the garage and get my ring plan.
Okay, but me and her were talking about, um, in January, we were uh, gonna go thrifting for some new clothes, and she likes these, she likes these vintage smiley faces, so we were, we were talking about how we were gonna, like, um, sell them on to, like, clothes that we thrifted, and then she could, like, create her own style, because that's what she was interested in when she was talking about yesterday, and I feel like I would find that pretty cool, too. Like, I really wanted to do, like, some Hello Kitty, or, like, something else, but, yeah. What are you talking about, Oh, the thrift store, or the thrift thing we were talking about yesterday. Oh, yeah, we're gonna do a a wardrobe refresh yeah i don't know that mine's gonna really be like um popular clothing but it is going to be some different clothing since i tend to wear the same clothes <laughs> 50 times in a row i think my hubby will just be happy with me wearing different clothing at yeah. this point uh oh uh oh i locked it uh oh hang on i accidentally locked out everybody sorry I'm gonna move this all into my beautiful notique. That's beautiful anyway. Hey. Oh my gosh, but where is my hole puncher? You guys, the struggle is real with finding the things. Mm. I already, um, shoot, I forgot I had this that I already made, and it already has December, oh. and it has more graph paper. Yay. Yay. Okay. So, oh man, I'll do something. I'll glue that August page over this, probably, so I don't have to keep covering August and whatever. Um, okay, still need a hole puncher. My whole puncher is on its last leg. I need a new one. Mm -hmm. Found it! It's also nice outside today. Yeah, it's not too hot. It's not too cold. Mm -hmm. I found it. This Agenda 52, it is a great hole puncher. However, I have used and abused this thing. <laughs> oh, I should keep this bag. Yeah. It's a nice Christmas one. Yeah. They... This is from that store that we like. Probably can't see, but... Go ahead. Sorry, Brittany. Oh, I was just saying, yeah, it was a really nice bag. It's a really nice store, too. It's, like, the nicest store in that mall, probably. Yeah. I just thought it was, like, something different. It reminded me of Anthropology. Brittany's never been to Anthropology, mm -hmm. but it was kind of, like, a less fancy Anthropology with more clothes and less home goods. Yeah. So, that's what it reminded me of. Okay, yay. I'm gonna use the pink. Ah, I'm sorry. I'm really, are you done, Brayden, or are you still going? Um, I'm still going. Okay. So yay, I found my December, I found my extra graph paper, and then look at this tracker, Brayden. Oh, that's so cute. Isn't it cute? And you yeah. can color it in. Oh, cool. So I'm going to do that every time wow. I do something that I hate at work. I'm going to think of what it is. <laughs> I think that'll make... Good idea. Anything you can do to make adulting more fun is great. So it's going to be like this, guys. And I love my no teak covers, so this will be good. This will uh, scratch my A5 itch. Okay, the page that I just made... Let's... Cut that, put it in December, and paste it over. I always think that I'll just love spiral bound, but I just don't love spiral bound anymore. And that just reminds me, I just ordered spiral bound book planner, but I think it'll be fine because it's just a book planner and, um, that's not something that I need to be like as functional. It's more for fun and it's, that's not something that I would want to be in an A5. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think it'll be fine. If not, I'll take that off and put it to you. Okay. I saw a trick online that said get foil, 
and put foil in there and cut it a few times to make your uh, little cutters sharp again. And it worked. But my thing is so far gone that I've had to do that several times. But still, it's holding on. For dear life. For <laughs> dear life. Okay. I mean, I've had it for years. So it's pretty cool. Um, I also got these really cheap tape runners, and I have no idea what brand they are, but... Oh, I have the same one, except it's pink. Mm -hmm, I gave oh, you yeah. one, because I had a box of them. Mm, it's so cute, though. They are so cute. So it does work pretty good, and it's a lot cheaper than combo. So. Okay. Yay, there. Now we've got my page in the right place in December. Just went back to back on that one. And then we'll do this one. But yeah, our family, I think that the reason, like, we have a pretty peaceful family is we allow each other to do our own things, but then we have certain things we like to do together. And it keeps our family pretty balanced. Like, it's not like we have to do everything together. And if somebody doesn't like doing that thing, we just force it on them. Yeah, there's no extremes. Yeah. Because if you have too many extremes, then there's going to be endless drama. And that's not what we wanted to have. Yep. So... Like, Emma doesn't like going to the mall. John doesn't really either. So yesterday they went to the park. Me and Brain went to the mall. And then we got back up together for dinner. I mean, we do stuff like that a lot. So I think it's healthy. It makes a very healthy marriage for John and I. And it makes a healthy example for the kids for, like, not depending on, like, one particular friend. You know, like, if you have a best friend. I mean, you may not like doing every single thing the same. Like, you have to be able to do some things that like are just your thing and then go back and be with your friends again later and then that's okay. Like I'm sure a lot of Braden's color guard friends don't care anything about paper and stationery. Mm, probably not. <laughs> so, you know, it's just yeah. healthy. It's like my friend Bernita and I, we have, um, you know, the paper and stationery thing in common, but then like other things we really um, don't have as much in common, but that's okay. It also makes it more interesting because if you're exactly alike all the time, it's, it's like, it's pretty boring. Pretty boring. Pretty <laughs> quick. So like I just never understood it. Like, I mean, maybe it it just depends on people's personality type, but like most of my best friends are not other moms. Like, you know, like those little like mom groups and they all go do stuff together constantly and they <laughs> wear like the same type of clothes and they're like they're like they're like mean girls, but well, like older. Yeah, some they're of them. not mean girls. I think they're like a sorority types, maybe. Oh, yeah. You know, and also in college I didn't fit in with that type. That's probably also why my college experience was different than other people's. I was like a commuter. Um I only live in the dorm for a short time and I I wasn't in any groups or sororities like that. I was in like some Christian groups. Um but yeah, anymore it does kind of seem like with the mom groups, it's a very like cliquish. That's what I would call it. And it's very, um, I don't know. Sometimes it's a little elitist for my taste. Let's just like keeping up with the Joneses, which I am not into at all. Even with the planner thing, if there's something popular and it comes out and I have no use for it, I will not get it. To be like, that's great. That's the latest and the greatest. And it's lovely, but it's not for me. Oh my gosh. Poor Hunter. No Hunter. Uh. <laughs> oh, and then uh, yesterday, I think it was at the same stick. Okay, guys, sorry. We had a storage issue with my phone, but we're back. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. I was just saying, I don't really get, didn't ever get into like the mom groups type of a thing, but um, I really like that my friends are a little bit different than I am. I just think it, it keeps things interesting. I'm not going to have anything against those that are, you know, that that is their thing, but um. I think my family is a little different than most where like we really don't like having company that much <laughs> or like at like at our house um, it's because we don't have that much distant family that's probably because we're not used to having so much family around that whenever we do expect to have company we're like kind of anxious or worried <laughs> yeah and it, to me my home is just like my peaceful happy place that i'm I ha I'm very particular in bringing anybody into and like disturbing that piece. Like I have to know somebody pretty well to want them to come over to my house. Um, so there's that. I think we're going to stop the video here. Did you have anything else you wanted to say right now before we sign off? Um, not much. Just have a great day guys. And also have a good week. Um, try to 
I know most of y'all are probably adults, so just try to keep planning to keep the adulting stress away, like she said <laughs> earlier. <laughs> Brayden's just starting to learn about adulting. He's helping pay for his car. He's got his job. So. Oh, also these stickers are really cute. <laughs> gonna... Also, these stickers are really yeah. cute. Perfect <laughs> ending to the video. I hope that y'all have a great week, and we will see you in our next one. Bye. Bye.